So today I'm going to share with you a gift idea that you can make for your dad, your husband, your boyfriend, your um, your lover that is a man for Father's Day or you know someone like that that fits the bill for Father's Day. Your grandpa too, you can make for your grandpa. So today I'm showing you how to make this nice bow tie and pocket square and it is very fast, it's very simple, anybody can do it. Like if you have a sewing machine, if you have a glue gun, you can just glue it together or something. Like everywhere I stitch, you can glue instead of stitching. So today I'm going to show you how to make it. So stay with me, stick with me, and let's go on this star journey. Star girl! To make these bow ties, you need three different measurements. A 10 inches by 5 inches measurement, 18 inches by 3 inches measurement, and a 3 inches by 2 inches measurement. And that is what I'm cutting right now. This is 10 inch by 5 inches. The next one is the 18 inches by 3 inches. And the last one is 3 by 2 inches. For the 18 inches by 3 inches, though, you can measure the neck of the person you are making the bow tie for. I wanted this to be a surprise, so I didn't measure the neck. So I used 19 inches for my husband. So just in case, at least I know that it was sizing. <laughs> he has a big neck, but he's okay. All right, so for my uh, pocket square, I measured 11 inches by 11 inches. It's a square, like from the name is a square. So 11 by 11 is the dimension of the pocket square that I use. You can make it bigger or smaller, depending on your preference. So I stitched all my pieces one after the other. This is the long piece, the 18 by 3 inches piece. And I stitched the end of, of the first two just these two were the ones i stitched the ends of the small piece the tiniest piece and the long piece the 10 inches by 5 inches piece the first one i did not stitch the end of that because it's big and it's easy for me to turn it inside out if i want so i've turned it inside out the long one and the tiny one so for this last one i'm just going to turn it out inside out easily it does not need me to stitch one end to turn it out okay so then after that i'm just going to iron it out and then stitch one side of it so this is how i want it to look like at the end of the day i want it folded in like that so i'm going to iron this out now and then i'm going to stitch one end of it and please make sure that you don't stitch the wrong side together stitch the side with the lines together not the sides without the line like where the line is that's where you should stitch and not this side not this side this yeah, exactly this other side is where you stitch together and now i've stitched it and then i saw that the ends were fraying so i used a zigzag stitch as well to stop the fraying so this uh, my beautiful bow tie does not dismantle on my husband's big neck so that is what i did to make sure it doesn't fray out all right so you see i'm going to pinch the upper part and the lower part to the middle just like that you can use a rope to tie it down so it doesn't you know scatter exactly but i didn't use a rope to tie mine down because i was just too lazy to and i didn't feel like it so the long side you see that i stitched one side of it i see stitched the open end of it and then now i place my tiny bow tie on top of my long strip and then i use the small strip to hold it together and then i'm just going to stitch that part so i have stitched the small strip you can see the tiny strip you see that i stitched it together and now i'm going to turn that tiny strip inside out so that the part that i stitched will be inside and will not show outside this was a great ordeal it looks simple right now because it's on fast forward that I, but i think i used about five whole minutes to turn that tiny thing inside out so brace yourselves my, my my ladies and gentlemen brace yourselves up for that okay so after using the help of my knitting pin to you know push it and push it and push it and try to make it look good and nice the next step is to put in my velcro snaps all right so i'm going to put the link to all these materials that i use the fabric and also these velcro snaps i got it on amazon and i'm going to put the link below so you can get yours if you want it it's very sweet to use so very very sweet to use because all i have to do is just put it on my fabric and then iron it on it so i put it on that side and then i put a one inch uh 
distance between the two velcros you can put as many as you want i'm putting only two uh because at least one of the two will be fine for my husband at least one of the two will be good for him okay so after putting my velcro snaps on one side i want the clean part to be outside i did not want the stitched parts to be on the outside you see what i'm showing you i want the clean part to be on the outside i don't want that stitch part so i make sure i put it in a way that the clean part is going to be outside and i use the uh, put the other side of my velcro measured one inch distance and i put it and that is it my bow tie is ready for use please don't forget to iron it the iron on it looks like it's it is already stuck and ready but iron it so that it will have a firmer grip so the next thing is to work on my pocket square and i am going to m it with about 0.25 on 0.25 inches round about so i ironed it i started ironing it i ironed i ironed only two sides i was too tired to iron the rest i was like why am i ironing it you know i can do it without ironing and i did do it ironing. but please iron it if you're a beginner if you're a beginner iron it okay so you see i stitched all the way down to one side after stitching that i folded it in and then i'm stitching it all the way down okay so one thing you should know is that whenever you turn each corner it's always difficult for your machine your sewing machine to climb on that corner for some weird reason that i don't know so i'm going to show you now how to overcome that a little bit so while i'm stitching there's a thread at the back that i pull on while i'm stitching it that way it's the the uh, contour whatever it is that is there it easily slides off my sewing machine so i can continue sewing so you repeat that for all the first size and you see it is ready the pocket square is ready it looks nice you can use it as a gift for this father's day or next father's day or whichever father's day you want to use it as a gift for okay so if you did enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like comment share and don't forget to subscribe peace see ya